Welcome back. All hour, we've been celebrating Reach as High as You Can Day. I was telling the audience in the commercial break of Luling, Texas, I never knew I could have something like this, a show like this, but my family said, Reach as High as You Can. And those are the stories we're sharing from people who found a way to push beyond obstacles and beyond barriers that we all face, by the way, keeping us from our dreams. But our next guest did just that as a little girl growing up in Peru, exploring the jungle. She knew she wanted to find a way to learn more. Now, Rosa Vasquez Espinosa is a chemical biologist, conservationist, and a National Geographic explorer studying the Amazon's smallest beings to create big changes for us and our planet. Tam fam, please welcome a woman who does a job none of us could do, Rosa <laughs> Vasquez Espinosa. Thank you. Rosa, thank you so much. I mean, I. It is not an enviable job, but it is an admirable <laughs> job for what you do for the world. It's incredible. So this is in celebration of Earth Day next week. Nat Geo is highlighting our planet's beautiful remote and at-risk locations. Um, your travels to the Amazon were inspired by your grandmother. And I love this. She wasn't a scientist by training formally, but you say she was a scientist who really inspired you. Uh, yes, absolutely. First of all, thank you for having me here today, telling this story um, and really representing my family. Um, it's uh, such a big honor. So I grew up in Peru uh, and my whole family grew up in a small town in the high Andes, uh, in a town called Siwas, oh. where they had um, limited access to schools and hospitals. So the community really relies on the elderly to have the traditional knowledge to use oh. the native plants around uh, for medicine, food. And, and, and everything really. And when eventually they moved to Lima, the capital, which is where I was uh, born and raised, my grandmother took all her knowledge and she had developed a small natural pharmacy back in their small town and she transferred that to the city. And so and that's, where your, is, that's where you grew up and that's what inspired you. That's literally you. where I grew up, yeah. That's, now, the National Geographic Society, it's a nonprofit that invests in explorers like yourself. And they're actually funding your research in the Amazon with, I'd never heard of this, stingless bees. We have videos of them. You video them in the wild. What? Look at you. So that was, and these are stingless bees. Correct. That means they don't sting. Correct. Okay. Just they double may check bite. It. They if bite, but they don't they sting. They could bite. Okay. And this, pro <laughs> but this project is important for us all. Yeah, so I've been working in the Amazon for many, many years, really, all throughout uh, with the tiniest creatures. I work with microbes, and in this case, with native stingless bees that locals have been raising for thousands and thousands of years and actually using that honey as medicinal. Um, and so. And we're learning so much more about medicinal honey, but not right now. I'm allergy challenge and people are saying local honey. I mean, it's amazing what you're doing and we have some amazing products in fact from Nat Geo here today and buying these will help fund the works of explorers all around the world like Rosa. This is phenomenal because studio audience, you're not heading home empty handed on this live show. You're all getting a $100 gift card to shopdisney.com <laughs> where you will find the latest and the greatest merchandise For the TAM fam, you have a chance to receive some of these prizes, too. So if you're home watching now, go to our Instagram to learn much more about it. Rosa, this is incredible. <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies. I just talked about my allergies here watching you outside. You're living the dream? It, it's, yeah, it is a dream. Yeah, oh, wow. I get to work I with that. locals and highlight important work and important issues in the Amazon.